Here we have the function 6x to the one-third minus 2x, and we want to find the critical numbers and also the points at which f the function has a maximum or minimum. And so this is what the graph looks like. And so we can see the, the, uh, the graph, it will go up infinitely and it will go down infinitely. And so we have at this point right here, it, looked like, it looks like it's about negative 1 and uh, negative 4. But we can only, uh, but that's just by looking at the graph. And then that this point right here, it looks like it's about 1, 4. So we say that the uh, function, this function here, has a relative minimum at this point and a relative maximum at this point. And the graph and the function has no maximum, no minimum, since graph goes infinitely up and infinitely down. And so to find uh, these points right here, we need to find the derivative and then set the derivative equal to zero and solve for x if possible, or look for uh, numbers where the derivative is undefined, where it's meaning where the derivative is, uh, where the function is not differentiable. And so the derivative here, this would be 6, and then here we have x to the one-third, and so um, we can use the uh, power rule to get the derivative, so it would be one-third, and then x, so bring, put the exponent in front of the x, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So a third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. And then uh, the um, derivative for 2 times x would be uh, 2 times the derivative of x, and derivative of x is 1, and so we'll get 2 times 1, which is 2. And then uh, let's go ahead and simplify this. This is 6 times 1 third, which is 2. And then we get x to the negative 2 thirds. And then minus 2. And then uh, this right here, it has a negative exponent. And so let's go ahead and rewrite this with positive exponent. So it would be 2. And then it's a negative exponent. This is 2 times x to the negative 2 thirds is the same as 1 over x to the 2 thirds, and then minus 2. So that's what x to the negative 2 thirds is. It just means 1 over x to the positive 2 thirds. And then this becomes uh, 2 over x to the two-thirds, and minus two. And then right here, if we look at this um, expression right here, if we let x be zero, then we can see that the, um, the, um, the derivative will be undefined at x equal to zero. And so no, F prime of zero so in the place of x we have zero and this is undefined and so we have a critical number at x equal to zero but if we look at the graph right here, even though we have a critical number at x equal to zero, but there's no uh, maximum or minimum right here at, at zero at the point. And so let's find the uh, corresponding point. So f of zero is going to be zero. And then we have a zero right here, zero, which is equal to zero. So when x is 0, y is 
zero. And so at the point zero, zero, there's no maximum, no minimum. Even though we have a critical point, x equal to zero. And uh, once again, the, the definition of a critical number is when the derivative is undefined, or that's where the function is uh, not differentiable. So let's write that down. So here we say that f of x is undefined. At x equal to zero. So we say that this function right here is not differentiable at x equal to zero. So whenever the derivative is undefined as some number, then we said that the function is not differentiable in that number. And so to find the critical numbers is uh, we look for values where the derivative is undefined, and then the other way is to set the derivative equal to zero. So that's how we look for critical numbers. First, look at the derivative and see if uh, something will make it undefined. And then the other thing is to set it equal to zero. So this is the uh, derivative right here. And then solve for x if possible. possible. And uh, then for this type of equation right here, Let's go ahead and uh, combine the uh, left side. So what we can do is get the same denominator. So we can multiply the 2 by uh, x to the 2 thirds and x to the 2 thirds. And obviously this is 1, so 2 times 1 is still 2. But now we have uh, a common denominator of x to the two-thirds. And so now we can combine this. This is the 2 minus 2x to the two-thirds. So x to the two-thirds is equal to zero. And obviously, this can only be equal to zero if the, the numerator, if the top is equal to zero. So this means that that is equal to zero. One more time, this uh, quotient right here, this, this quotient here, the only way that this could be equal to zero if the top is equal to zero. And so that's why we set the top equal to zero. And then uh, now uh, let's go ahead and divide everything by two. So we get one minus x to the two thirds is equal to zero. And then uh, we can uh, bring this term to the left side up to the right side. So this is the same as x to the two thirds. And then since we're solving for x, so let's go ahead and write it like this. So x to the two thirds equal to one. And uh, so to solve this uh, type of equation right here, what we can do is uh, raise uh, both sides to the reciprocal power, power. And so this is the power of two-thirds, and so the reciprocal of two-thirds will be three-halves. And so what we would do is like this. So raise this side to the reciprocal power, which is three-halves. And then raise this side, reciprocal power of three halves. And uh, the reason we do that is because of this. Because remember, if we have an inside and an outside exponent like this, then we multiply them. And so here, two thirds times one is just one. 
and then x to the first is just x. And then uh, right here, we need to be careful right here. This means the uh, second root or the square root of 1 to the third. And so over here we're taking the, uh, so when we, uh, uh, when we raise the left side to the reciprocal power, what we did here, which we did the, uh, we're taking the square root of the third power. So an irrational exponent of three halves means the square root of the third power. And so that's why this will equal to plus, because it's an even root. This will equal to plus or minus 1. And so the thing to be careful right here is anytime we raise both sides to the reciprocal power, and if we do it with an even root, root is this bottom number right here. If this bottom number is even, then we have to have a plus or minus in the front. So if it's odd, if this bottom number here is odd, and then it'd be, we don't have to have the plus or minus. And so these are the uh, critical numbers. And so again, we'll evaluate the uh, function at the um, critical numbers. So first let's do a 1. So we put a 1 in here. And then this is a negative 1. And negative 1. So this will be 6. 1 to the 1 third is still uh, 1. So 6 times uh, 1 is 6 minus 2. This is 4. And so here, when x is 1, y is 4. Negative 1 to the 1 third is negative 1. And then 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And this is positive 2. And negative 6 plus positive 2 is negative 4. And so right here, we get the uh, point negative 1, negative 4. And now we look back at the graph, we see that we have a uh, relative maximum at the point 1, 4, and then we have a relative minimum at the point negative 1, negative 1, 4. So uh, let's write this together. So summary, critical numbers are zero, negative one, and one. And then we say that the function here has a relative maximum at the point one four. And then it has a relative minimum at the point negative 1, negative 4. 